Can you make an eye from a polystyrene ball? Let's find out. First of all, you want a stand for your eyeball to go onto so that you can paint it without having to hold onto the actual ball itself. I just cut the end of the cotton bud and stuck it in to the polystyrene ball and then just stuck it in some blue tack. But you can use a cocktail stick or just any thin stick basically. And then you just want to paint your eyeball white just to prime it. And yes, I know that the polystyrene ball is already white, but you still want to prime it. Leave that to dry. Step number two, you want to paint your iris. I decided to go for a kind of greeny bluey eye. You can go for whatever color you like, but just be aware that eyes are made up of lots of different colors, lots of different specks of color. They're not all one uniform color. So just get some really good reference pictures of eyes and just start building up your color in stages. You'll be able to see what I'm doing here. It's better for you just to watch really than for me to try and explain. And also a lot of eyes have this kind of yellowy tone in the center around the pupil as well so just dot your colors on and then dab them with either your finger or a sponge or a dry brush just to get a broken up effect Once you're happy with the initial colors on your iris, step three is to add the pupil. This gives a focal point to your eye. Don't worry, we will be adding some more color detail later. So I just added a black circle for the pupil and then just some black little strands going out from the eye and then just blending them with my finger and then a sort of a grayish bluish band around the eye because again eyes like I said earlier aren't all one uniform color and they tend to have flecks of color and then bands of color around the outside. Make sure you use a really fine small brush as well for your detail and just keep going in stippling little bits of different colors and just kind of stippling them in and blending them. Step four, you want to add some more detail. I noticed from looking at some close-up pictures of eyes that they tend to have this little black line around the pupil as well. I used a cocktail stick for this because I didn't have a brush that was anywhere near fine enough. Incidentally, top tip for you, when it comes to doing really fine lines, it's not always so much to do with the actual thickness of your brush, although you do need a very fine brush, but it's also to do with the thickness of your paint. So you can have the finest brush or the finest point in the world, but if you're using very thick paint, you will not be able to get very fine detail. So you need to make sure that you're either watering down your paint slightly or even using inks. Just continue to build up the detail on your eye color until you're happy. You can see that that's now starting to look really realistic. Now you do really have to work at this and it does help if you have some sort of basic artistic ability and knowledge. Um, but if you just keep working at it and be patient with it, then you will eventually get something which looks like a realistic eyeball. I did actually end up making my iris way too big on my eyeball, so don't make the same mistake I did. I actually ended up having to go back around with some white around the edge just to make it look a little bit smaller. It was still slightly too large, so yeah, take note from me and don't make your iris too big. Using the same cocktail stick I used earlier, I also added some flecks of white. And I just went back over that pupil just to intensify the black. Now, just the same as an iris isn't one uniform colour, neither is the white of the eye. So you want to stipple some grey over and very watered down grey incidentally. And then you want to stipple over some very watered down red as well because eyeballs have got a lot of blood vessels in them. Obviously, you want, if you want a really bloodshot eye, which is what I'm going for here, then you would add more red. If you want a clearer eye, then you would go for less red. Now for 
a final touch of slightly gross, not gonna lie, realism, add some woolen veins. Now this might sound like an odd thing to do, but wool is great for creating really fine capillaries. Just separate your wool into these really fine strands like you see me doing here, paint some PVA glue over your eyeball and then just put the wool on in very thin strands. Again, you can go really ham like I'm doing here, or you can just go for a few little wisps if you want a more clear looking eye. Incidentally, I put that final step text in the wrong place, so let's just ignore that. Now for the final touch, I did just varnish the eyeball using some clear nail varnish, which I didn't film. And here's the final eye. I hope you liked this tutorial, that it was helpful. It's a cheap, easy way of doing a realistic looking eyeball. So enjoy, like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.